for my seventh general heathen topic tonight, Holy Tides. Ours is not a religion of weekly observance, and daily observance should be used cautiously, since we are told not to bloat over often or for the wrong reasons. So, it's a religion of seasonal observance, annual, perhaps monthly. We shouldn't think of the gods only when we bloat to them monthly or less often. But we should feel some obligation to thank them for the harvests, to mark the turning of the seasons and then of the year, and to involve them in the important events of our lives, our marriages, our births and deaths, our namings, our growth to adulthood, should be occasions for celebrating the gods and for sharing with them. The ancient heathens, we are told, had three great festivals every year. At the harvest time and the coming of winter, in the spring and the coming of summer, and the greatest of all at Yule in midwinter. Modern Scandinavian custom, though, suggests that they must have done something for Midsummer also. Midsummer is very big in Scandinavia. Also, there's more than one harvest. And Anglo Saxon tradition suggests that two harvest festivals were celebrated when different crops were gathered in. From the Anglo-Saxons also, we have a suggestion of a very early spring celebration when the lambs uh, are first being born. Snow is still on the ground, usually. The ground in some places will still be frozen. In others, it will just be thawing out. Before spring gets started, at the potential time of the year, as well as at the height of spring. So there may have been many more than three heathen festivals every year, but we do know that Yule, above all, is a sacred time lasting 12 days and nights. And we do have many examples and references to ancient heathens involving the gods in the turnings of their lives. And why should it be otherwise? We owe them our gratitude, and we should be thinking of them at all times. <laughs>